I'm super excited to speak with Alice in Oregon. Uh, Alice, Olive. what's on your mind? Olive, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> hey, how's it going, you guys? How are you? Good. What can we help you with tonight? So, I am a feminine, non-binary person. I was originally born in a female body. I'm curious about how to begin uh, the process of uh, getting into a polyamorous relationship. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> help, uh, help me all of just a little bit and, and let me apologize for uh, completely swapping out your name. Uh, how, how are these things connected? Uh, not to say that your gender isn't relevant to your romantic and sexual journey, but uh, help me put those pieces together a little bit here. It's just, I know I sound confusing. I'm sorry. You butchered my name, but I don't care. <laughs> it's common. Um, but um, the point of the matter is, it's just I've never been in a multiple person relationship before. I have in the past, but it was only for a couple of days. And it really didn't go well. So I wanted to start anew and try again <laughs> mm -hmm. so I could figure out how to go about getting myself partners without feeling like after the relationship that I was first in that they hate each other now and one accused the other one of cheating and this whole situation. Mm -hmm. I just want to be able to get in a loving relationship. That's sure. all I want. Yeah, well, we're excited that you're taking this on, that you have learned this about yourself and that you're excited to explore and learn more. You know, I'll, I'll let you know that I've actually got a video answering this question uh, in as much detail as I can that I'll make sure to put in the uh, show notes for this episode. But the, the crux of all of that is to learn your shit. You know, before you get out on the road, you have to read the driver's ed book. Before you actually start driving on the highway, you have to have a little bit of an escort and some assistance. So make sure that you are reading every book that you can, that you are you know, jumping on to whatever uh, way you like to learn, whether that's a podcast or a YouTube video or whatever else. Uh, you want to not only protect yourself by making sure that you're educated and you know what's going on, but you don't want to get out on the roadway and start crashing into other cars. I, I think that that's one of the most easily missed aspects of polyamory is that our society, as we've been highlighting all night, has not done a great job of serving you here. It has not been uh, explaining these ideas to you or creating a culture to really help you navigate all of this. That's not to say that polyamory is inherently more difficult or more dangerous than any other form of love or romance or sexuality, but we don't have pop songs about it, right? Like there aren't any great, beautiful Julia Roberts movies that explain to us how to walk through these kinds of experiences. And you don't have those emotional and uh, like cultural touchstones to rely on. So you really have to work at educating yourself. So that would be the, the place that I would recommend to start is just reading every book that you possibly can. Uh, Dedeker Winston, a friend of the show, wrote uh, The Smart Girl's Guide to Polyamory, and that might be a good place to start. Uh, there's a, a number of other great books that we'll make sure to have some, uh, some links to in the show notes for you to take a look at. Uh, what other advice would, uh, would y'all recommend, V and Alice? Yeah. Um, I think that, I mean, I am brand new to polyamory myself. Um, so I am not very <laughs> experienced either, but still in there swinging. Um, I think that for me, there are two things. And the first thing kind of comes off of what Christy was saying. When I was first starting to learn about polyamory and that, oh, this might be something I'm interested in, there was this pervading sentiment among a lot of poly people that polyamory is actually more natural than monogamy, right? And it's like, oh, well, we're closely related to bonobos and bonobos are polyamorous, so we should be too. <laughs> and while th there might be a case for that, um, 
that doesn't mean that it's going to come more naturally to you. Like, it's not like, <laughs> oh, you don't have to think about it. Just follow your instincts. <laughs> I think initially that's kind of the direction I went and didn't work out very well. <laughs> so certainly while it is just as valid and natural and perhaps even more so in some senses than monogamy, that does not mean that it doesn't take work and research, just like Christy said. Also, as valid as a goal of multiple partners is, I would encourage you to start slowly and start with one and have that conversation with them and really build that foundation and both of you be open to adding more people in as you find them naturally, whether that's going on dates online or, you know, maybe a mutual friend, whoever you end up being with. Uh, just make sure that the goal in the end isn't, I want more than one partner. It is, I want to build individual, deep and meaningful connections that grow naturally, ideally in a way where we can all share in that emotion together. Mm. I totally feel that. I am adorably crazy in a great positive way because I'm a little weird in the best manner possible. So I think I'll do well since I'm only 20. <laughs> well, you've got plenty of time to figure this out then. Yeah, that, Alice, that's an important you... point to, to take it slow and to recognize that you don't need to be polyamorous and have like these wild experiences that you can absolutely have. You, you don't need to have them today or tomorrow. You know, there's time and opportunity to feel these things out as you go. Uh, but I, I'm sorry, Alice, please uh, weigh in. Yes, I, I come bearing more literature suggestions. More <laughs> Than Two is a fantastic kind of beginner's primer to polyamory. And as far as what Vi was talking about, as far as like bonobos, if that sort of information is interesting, you might prefer uh, Mating in Captivity by Esther Perel, really interesting mm -hmm. one. Um, and there's a third one I was going to recommend as well. I'm totally coming up on a blank here. It'll come back to me. Oh, um, Sex at Dawn. That's the mm -hmm. other one I'm thinking Dr. of. Dr. Christopher Ryan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or uh, uh, Susan Block was on the show to talk about the Bonobo Way. Uh, if you want to explore things through that direction, everybody loves uh, The Ethical Slut with uh, Janet Hardy and Dorothy Easton. Everybody like loves The Ethical Slut. <laughs> So there's, yeah, there's a, a lot to, to work from. Uh, I don't want to overload you with uh, too huge of a reading list, but I think that the, the consensus here is read, educate yourself yeah. on this because you, you can hurt yourself and others uh, by being careless in the way that you jump into these things. And mm -hmm. uh, I don't think any of us want to scare you off. I, I think all three of us identify as polyamorous. So we're the, we're here. The water is warm. It's wonderful. Jump in and join us. Just make sure you learn how to swim before you get in the deep end. Yep. Built a strong oh, foundation. Worry, awesome. Wonderful. Awesome. Oh, great talking to you, Olive. Thank you so much for calling in tonight.